Welcome to the Studio Files. Today I'm going to show you how to use Sansamp. In previous versions of Pro Tools, Sansamp was only available if you purchased extra toolkits, but in Pro Tools 8, it's now included. I'm using the same vocal track as I've used in the telephone lo fi distortion video. Let's listen to it. Sway, love in the breeze, feel the rhythm of the tree. Okay, so now we want to distort it. Let's go to the mixer window with command equal sign. And on the first available insert, I'm going to choose Plugin, Harmonic, Sansamp. Now Sansamp is a really, really versatile tool, and by understanding what each of these knobs is doing, you can achieve a lot of different sounds. The preamp and the drive knobs are both gain stages, with the preamp occurring before the buzz punch crunch and the drive occurring afterwards. Driving either knob is going to increase your amount of distortion, just in slightly different ways. Think of the buzz, punch, and crunch knobs as low, mid, and high frequency distortion. So if I take the punch and crunch and turn them all the way down and crank the buzz, you'll notice that it's mostly low energy. Sway, love in the breeze. Now if I turn on the buzz and crank the punch, it's going to be very mid-rangey. Sway, love in the breeze. And finally, if I just crank the crunch, it's going to be mostly high. Sway, love in the breeze. So you don't want to mess with these knobs until you get a distortion that you like. And then you can go to the low and high, which are just shelf EQs after the fact, and you can adjust those to taste. Sway, love in the breeze. Feel the rhythm of the trees, girl. Sway, love in the breeze. Feel the and finally, on the back end, there is a level output knob, which you can use to make sure that you aren't clipping it in the track. Sway, love in the breeze, feel the rhythm of the trees go. While Sansamp is really good on vocals, it's also great on guitars and drums and bass and really anything you want to add distortion to. The best way to learn it is to know what these knobs are all doing and then mess around with it until you get the sound you want. 